Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 30th of 2019 well, it is titled NGC 7129 and NGC 7142. So in this image, what do we see? Well, we see two objects of the new general catalog of objects that are not stars, or at least not individual stars in the sky. So a catalog like this contains many things including nebulae, star clusters, and even galaxies, anything that was not just a single star. And in this case, we're looking at two different objects. Uh, towards the lower left, we see a star cluster. This is an example of an open star cluster. Then that's catalog designation NGC 7142. And it is an example of an open star cluster is a cluster of stars that is not gravitationally bound together. There is not enough material there to hold them against their own motions. So slowly they will disperse out into space over time. So eventually this open cluster will be gone and its stars will just be distributed among the rest of the stars within the galaxy. Now the, the nebula is an example of a reflection nebula. A reflection nebula is dust around young stars. So some of the leftover dust from formation is then illuminated by the stars that have formed. Those stars are very hot blue stars, so they emit a lot of blue light, making the reflection nebula blue. In addition, the dust is much better at scattering the blue light all over the place and giving it that blue color. The red light is better able to pass through, whereas the blue light will be scattered around. A similar reason to why our sky is blue. The blue light from the sun is scattered all over the place, whereas the redder colors come straight through. So at sunset, we see the sun turning a deep red, not because it's changing, but because it's look going through more atmosphere and more and more of the blue light and greens, then the shorter wavelengths are being scattered out of it. Now, interestingly, we see these two objects very close together in the sky, but they are not close together in space. They are actually very far apart. Uh, the open star cluster is about 6,000 light years away, whereas the nebula is only about 3,000 light years away. So we have them that they are at very different distances with the cluster being twice as far away as the um, as the nebula. So very, very different distances. And we, again, we lose that perspective when we look at things. When you look at this image, everything looks like it's essentially at the same distance. But we lose that three dimensional aspect. And in many cases, things are much, much further away. And in fact, if you search around this image, you can find a couple of galaxies as well that are uh, that are even further away well beyond beyond this and there's one located here and that is a one that we can see um, in between these two um, these two objects so that was our picture of the day for August the 30th of 2019 it was titled NGC 7129 and NGC 7142 we'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Spitzer's Orion so we'll see what that is about tomorrow and until then have a great day everyone and I will see you in class